about uh, what was uh, what is in the plan, but now it's on the table and say for implementation and strategies are being developed to ensure that he, like the last group is helped. Um, yeah, the, 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 one of the things that is not in this plan is uh, about water quality. And uh, I just wanted to, to say that all these projections were made and we are saying let's move Let's, let's start from here, uh, as one of, the, of you has said, but we could not probably, at some point, we got stuck. Um, 2017 data revealed that one of the districts, one of the sub-counties was really very low. It was just at 37%. And we had an opportunity of working with uh, Ken here and Caleb, and we were trying to say, with the district, uh, let's start from this current uh, sub-county and then see how we can progressively move forward. But uh, we realized that one of the challenges that they had was really poor water quality and uh, we could not move uh, fast uh, from that. So there was little focus on the water quality, especially even in the plan itself, but even the district overall uh, service delivery. A lot of uh, the costing was on uh, capital expenditure, capital uh, maintenance expenditure, operation and maintenance did not include uh, issues concerning water quality monitoring and the uh, water quality improvements. And uh, uh, the low cost, Peter has just mentioned that 64% uh, of the water sources did not meet uh, drinking water quality standards. So that was quite a challenge. Um, so we wanted to pay attention to water quality and uh, we are saying that this should be as a wider part of uh, the overall monitoring and improvement of service delivery and the uh, routine water quality monitoring is supposed to be done. Uh, they have given us the figures for 2017 where we had that, uh, oh well, quite alarming, 64%. Uh, with the poor water quality. And then recently, again in August, um, no, before even August, we tried to, to do uh, water quality again in 2019 with the help of uh, uh, Emily here and, uh, and Abigail. And uh, there are some, cha some, some improvements that have been uh, noticed from 60, from 64, at least now we have uh, like 43 percent. We have reduced the burden to probably 43 percent, but still the burden is still huge. And we are saying we cannot talk about uh, improving water services by 2030 if we don't focus on uh, water quality. So we are saying that maybe moving forward we need that these results help us to develop better measures. Uh, in the operation and maintenance, which uh, the costs there, can we do also like water safety planning? Can we also see where improvements can be done through a different service delivery model, which Patrick called utilization? expansion of utilities uh, using the utilities and at least we have an opportunity that National Water and Sewage Corporation, which is the biggest state utility in uh, Uganda cannot provide water, raw water it's by mandate that it has to treat the water and we had just had an opportunity that they were able to expand even to rural, to rural areas to rural districts so as a conclusion here, I'm just saying that uh, water quality testing and improvements is expensive but cannot be set aside. Should be part of this overall long-term planning for, uh, for water sanitation uh, and hygiene improvements. 
uh, as my colleagues from Rwanda were talking about the district-wide approach. And then also implementation of uh, the master plan, um, which I have also had now is spreading even in other, other parts of uh, the country, in uh, Uganda, but also in uh, other areas where uh, Agenda for Change uh, partners have talked about it. It should do, it's part and parcel of the overall district kind of, of, of planning. So we need to pay a clear attention to, to it. So, yeah, um, just a couple of acknowledgements. I, I can see a number of people here actually in this room that have contributed to this, to this work. And I just say that what I have been presenting on about water quality is a, a lot of work that was done by the the CEU summer practicum students <laughs> that 